Hey guys, what's up? Coach Irvin here. Um, just want to go go over the Murph Prep workout for Saturday. All right, here we go, guys. All right, four time, okay? Uh, one mile run uh, with the vest. If you're going to be doing it with the vest, right, then you're going to go five rounds of 10, 20, 30, 10 pull-ups, 20 push-ups, 30 air squats, and then you're going to finish it off with the one mile run with the vest. Um Excuse me, a couple of options here, guys. Um, as far as the uh, reps, right? We're starting getting, we're starting to get to, into, into a lot of muscular endurance, right? And then adding the run with it, right? So we're getting really close of what you guys are going to feel during the MRF. So um, as you guys are going through these weeks, if you guys are not going to do it prescribed, remember prescribed, you got to do 100, 200, 300. So you gotta complete the hundred pull-ups before you can move on to the to the uh, push-ups before you can move on to the squats. If you are not gonna complete it that way, then you need to think about as you guys are going through these weeks how you're gonna break things up. If you guys noticed last week, right, we went Cindy style five, ten, fifteen, and then we spiced it up a little bit more on uh, uh, with fifty percent of the volume today uh, with um, ten, twenty, thirty. Right. Remember what that causes is a lot of more muscular endurance in that area. That's why the 100, 200, 300 is tougher because you're doing all reps on one solid uh, on on one movement and going from push ups to air squats. You know, it kind of it's kind of like a break. Right. So, again, um, if you plan to partition it and break it up, start thinking about the effects of like, OK, how does this movement make me feel moving from the pull ups to the push ups, from the push ups to the air squats, from the air squats back to the pull ups. And start thinking about rep schemes, start thinking about breathing patterns, start thinking about how you're going to attack the real workout when it comes out. I mean, when you guys actually do it, now we have a game plan on how you're doing it. Obviously, um, if you are new to the movements and this is your first time doing it, then I would do more rounds, right? And then having the repetitions in each movement be smaller, right? So that way you can move through the movements quicker and there's not a lot of muscular endurance involved as far as like... You know, um, like, 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 let's just say that you're doing 200 push ups, you know, you're gonna burn out and you're just gonna sit there, right? So it's gonna take you longer, right? So, uh, so thinking about how you guys are going to modify or change it up that's going to best fit your needs. Um, if you're gonna start incorporating the vest, maybe you haven't incorporated the vest, um, you wanna start incorporating the vest, maybe you run with the vest at first and then you, then you do. Then you take it off or, 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 or and then you do the calisthenics without the vest and then you put the vest on. Again, that's another option that you guys can do if you guys want to do the whole thing with the vest. Uh, maybe you run without the vest, you come in and then do the calisthenics with the vest. That's another option, I guess. But, you know, if you're strong enough to do the, 20, the 10, 20, 30 with the vest, then you should be running anyways, right? Um, it is getting hot, guys. It's getting really, you know, it's dry and it's humid. It's dry and it's humid. Make sure you're hydrating. Make sure that you're doing these workouts maybe with somebody or somebody around, right? Don't maybe don't do them in the middle of the day, especially if you have been you've been drinking a little bit too much or you're a little bit hungover or whatever. You know, these are gonna be these are long workouts, guys, and um, you know you're gonna be sweating a whole lot um, if you haven't eaten or you know you're dehydrated or whatever. It, you know, it, it it'll let you know for sure. So. Uh, think about that kind of stuff. Think about recovery afterwards. Make sure that you get enough water, replenish the body with water, electrolytes, and then make sure that you're getting uh, enough carbohydrates and and uh, macro, just macronutrients inside the body so you can recover, guys, because you guys will be sore. On Sunday, maybe just walk a little bit, go outside, maybe get, you know, um, get some blood in the, in, into the body. Um, that way you guys can flush a little bit and then right back to work on Monday, guys. We got a couple of weeks. I'm very optimistic on... on, on um, being able to do Murph this year, hopefully by then we'll be good to go and, and really go, guys, that's the plan right now, right? So, um, you know, we don't need a whole lot of equipment for Murph, okay? And let that be your goal. Let that be in your mind. Like, that's my goal. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm sticking to it. And if you know that running is your weakness, do not miss your Thursdays and Saturday workouts, right? Maybe even on Monday, maybe go run out again if, if you don't feel like doing the workout or whatever, right? So, um you know, just, just stick with it, guys. We got a couple more weeks. We'll be good to go. We'll be back in the gym before we know it. Um, and we'll be mixing it up with each other, guys. Can't wait to see you guys. Uh, good luck. Hit me up if you guys, has, if you guys have any questions. 
Again, if you guys need to pull a bar, I've been telling people, just come here to the gym. You know, uh, we're going to be doing some work here, you know, and I can just say you guys just showed up and doing the workout outside. I don't care, you know, so come on in. If you need to pull a bar, just use the pull a bar in between the in, 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 the, in between the buildings. Um, if you guys need some chalk, I'll put the chalk out there for you guys if you guys need it. All right. All right, guys. See y'all later. See y'all guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Goodbye.